Today we're going to be building a, another live bait rig for catfish fishing. This one's called the polyball rig. It's a little bit more flexible than the dumbbell rig in that it doesn't just fish on the surface. It can be fished anywhere from a foot from the bottom to a foot from the top. So if the fish aren't feeding right up on the surface where you'd normally fish a dumbbell rig, you can adjust it and track those fish down effectively. So we want to start with our materials that we need, which is a hook. In this case, this is a 6.0 Owner Mutu light, followed by about a four inch section of silicon tubing. This is three millimeters. Then a swivel, a nice strong swivel. This is 133 pound Mighty Mini made by AFW. Some hair stops. These are a pallet style. They're just a little bit more secure for the for securing the poly ball. A 40 mil poly ball, which has got enough buoyancy that you can use this rig with live baits up to around about six ounces, maybe eight ounces. Your hook length material, a nice thick mono. In this case, this is 80 pound suffix. And for your hair material you'll just want a lighter mono, in this case this is 8 pounds. So to begin you'll take your hook length material, your heavy mono, and attach your hook to the end. On these heavy monos I just prefer a three turn blood knot, very strong, very easy to tie. wet that down so that it snugs down nice and neatly and then pull that tight like so and then trim our tag end off nice and short we want to take around about 16 18 inches of this heavy material and we'll just cut that off next up we want to take our lighter mono, our hair material, and we'll attach that to the eye of the hook also. Again with a, a blood knot. materials tied to the eye of our hook. We want to cut this hair material to around about the same length, like so, and our next step will be to take our silicon tubing, take both ends of your material it through your silicon tube. This then creates a boom. You take it and snug it down over the eye of your hook, like so. Just work that down nice and neatly onto there. And you end up with your heavy material and your hair material threaded through your hook on the end with your silicon tubing acting as a boom. You then take your swivel which will then be tied to the end of your heavy material using the same knot as before, just a three turn blood knot. there now. We've just got to take our lighter 
hair material and as you would in a standard hair on any hair rig you want to just tie a loop in the end of the material like so just a, a simple overhand knot is strong enough in this for this application the idea behind the lighter mono line for creating the hair is that should the fish run you through a snag then this weak link can break away and still leave you connected to the fish if you were to create this hair using the same strength line or a strong line um, it could potentially cause a tangle as it ran through weed or snags or any objects under the water whereas this lighter line will break away the poly ball will come away and you'll just simply be connected by your main link uh, your main line and your hook link material. So now you've tied your loop, you want to take your poly ball, pass it onto your baiting needle, then thread that on, take one of your hair stops, as I said before in this case I use a, a hairstyle one, the, the deeper deeper V in it allows it to be slightly more secure on the poly ball. Just take one of those and pull that down into the poly ball. And that's our finished rig now. So effectively you have a hook length with a boom on it and that is then popped up by the poly ball. You can use this not only with live baits, you can also use this with squid, worm, dead baits, anything that you want to, to pop up off the bottom. And you set this up as a running rig, as you would with a dumbbell or a straight running ledger. You simply have a bead, your weight which will then be on your run ring, on your main line, and then because it's running if you wind down nice and tight this will fish the same length as your hook length from the bottom and if you want to go up in the water just simply pay out line off of your reel and the amount of line you pay off at your reel will correspond to the depth that it then fishes at so if you know you've got six feet of water you'll be fishing a foot off the bottom on a tight line if you pay off a foot you'll be fishing at four foot if you pay off two feet you'll be fishing you'll be fishing at three feet depth and so on and so forth and in that fashion you can then work out where the fish are feeding in the water. Quite often come the, the cooler months of the year the cats will be near the bottom and not so inclined to feed on the surface as they would when you're fishing with a dumbbell rig. So you might find that 18 inches off the bottom is the hot spot it might be two feet from the top is the hot spot, but it might be areas that you can't fish with a standard dumbbell rig. So this is a bit more flexible in that you can track those fish down. So there you have it. Another very good catfish rig.